Hey guys, today I'm just going to be giving you a quick overview of how the radial menus work in Player Building System V2. Um, I'll show you how to edit them, how to add new ones, and just generally how they work. So to get started, um, we're just going to search for um, page, and that will bring up our three um, build menu pages. I'm just going to open up page one and bring that over here. Now you can see we've got the standard widget designer view, and we can select our various um, segments here um, and you can see over here we've got our settings for the segments now the first one is just whether or not the segments enabled that means we can actually select it then we've got the segment type so uh, most of these are set to build part and that just means that they when they're selected they'll select a build part um, then we can set what build part we want um, so the one I've got selected was wool so it's set to wood wool if we wanted to we could change it to any build part we wanted um, and then we've got the segment name and description. This is the name here and the description here. This is what shows up when this segment is selected. One thing to keep in mind is if you've got it set to build part, um, it will use the information set in the uh, build part list and not these um, settings down here. So those ones aren't used because we're uh, set to build part. Um, just looking at the different segment types, there are a few different ones. Um, you can see upgrade, destroy, repair, um, these are all used for the building options menu, which I'll show you in a minute. And we've got next page and previous page. Um, this allows us to set the next um, page so we can open up uh, different radial menus from this menu. Um, we've got clear and add owners. This is used for the plot pole. Um, pick up, which is again used for the building options. Then we've got the change code, unlock and enter code, uh, which is all used for the um, code lock radial menu. Um, but for the most part, you'll probably be using the build part selection um, and the next and previous page options here. So if I select the next page segment, you can actually see that it's enabled, set to next page, and we've got our segment name and details, uh, description, sorry, um, set up as well. Um, so to uh, be able to set what our next page is, we can just select the, um, the top option here. You can see we've got previous page widget and next page widget. You can see the next page widget is set to page two. So that just means that when we select the next page uh, segment, it's going to open up our uh, building menu page two. If I click this little magnifying glass, we can actually open that up. You can see I'm now on the next page um, like that. And uh, we have the same thing for previous page. So I'll just select that set to previous page. Our details are set here. And then uh, if I select the top option here, you can see um, the previous page will take us back to page one and the next page will take us to page three. When uh, selecting these segments, you can actually find some other customization options here. So you can set the unselected tin. Uh, so this is the color um, that the segment's tinted when it's not selected. Um, you've got the icon offset. So this is um, the position of the icon in the segment. Um, you can play about with these values if you like. Um, you've got custom icon. This will um, this is used for say the um, previous page. You can see it's ticked on and it's set to the back arrow. But for the build parts, it's actually turned off because again our um, icon is set in the build part list instead of in here. So we don't need a custom icon. Um, next, we've got the icon size. This just controls the size of the icon um, in the segment. The selected tint, so this is just the color of um, when you select a segment. Um, then we've got your custom icon, if you're using one, this is where you would set it. The hover sound, so this is when you've selected it, this is the sound it will play. Um, and then these are the textures, um, the default textures, so the large one is used when selected, and then the small one is used when unselected. Um, then we have icon rotation, so this allows you to rotate the uh, little icon here um, in any direction you want. Um, depending on uh, where it is on the segment. So you can see, um, if I scroll down, go to transform, see this is set to angle 72. So um, the icon rotation is set to minus 72. So it just keeps all the icons um, standing up straight instead of being rotated. Next, I'll show you quickly how to find the um, options menu. So go to options and we can open up the building options menu. And in here, you can see we've got our um, upgrade, repair, pick up, and demolish. Um, these have the same options we had before. They're just 
set to uh, different segment types. So we've got our upgrade, repair, pick up and demolish. Um, you can see these are um, these are all using custom icons as well because uh, they don't they aren't using a build part. So we need to set our icon up in here. Um, you can customize this if you like uh, and uh, make it look however you like. Next, I'm going to show you uh, where the code is um, for uh, what happens with the different segment types, just in case you want to add your own segment types or modify uh, the existing ones. So to do that, we're going to go to the master radial, uh, master radial menu, go to event graph, and if you go to the select segment function, um, you'll find this, um, and this is our um, where we control what the different segment types do. So you can see in here, we've got our upgrade, delete, um, and various other ones like our select build part. Um, if you wanted to, you, this is where you'd be to um, modify their behaviors. Um, and if you wanted to add a new segment type, it's quite easy. You would just um, search for the E underscore seg, uh, sorry, not seg. Um, oh, we're in the wrong folder. Go to blueprints, we'll search for seg, segment type. And in here, we've got all of our um, different options. You could just create a new option um, that would add it here. And then once you go back here, it would uh, add a new pin to this node here. And then you could add whatever code you wanted to um, work your segment how you wanted. So that's pretty much it for um, this video. Um, hopefully it just gave you a quick understanding of how the uh, radial menu works and how you can modify it and add to it. Um, to uh, work well with whatever it is you're looking to do. So thank you for watching.